okay so i am starting so first one is nic just simple i will tell so i nic means network interface okay so this is also called as lan card or we can also call as ethernet card okay lan card or a ethernet card so if you see this one some ethernet cards are on board just like you can see lan card there are look like this lan cards just you can insert into your computer and outside we can able to connect it and you can see the light so then light indicates um, whether connection is there or not and link status is there or not like that okay so this is the wireless lan so to if you want to connect it to wi-fi so to to connect a pc so this is a kind of lan of course, there is a two multiple different kind of stuff is also there. Okay. So when you say this is the Ethernet card, so generally Ethernet, basic Ethernet is a 10 Mbps speed only. The next level of Ethernet is fast Ethernet. Okay. So that is 100 Mbps. Next one is gigabit. Ethernet is thousand Mbps, or we can say one gigabit per second. The small b b means bit. Small b means bit. Capital B means byte. These are the type of Ethernet are there. So currently we are using gigabit Ethernet only. Still some laptops and desktop having uh, this. Next, when you see an NIC, when you see an NIC, so there is a uh, some connection is there, no socket. So that is RJ fortified type of socket is there. RJ45 socket for LAN connector connection. So what is RJ? RJ means why my 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 mind is also not working properly. Resistor jack, okay, RC45, so resistor jack, so that connection we call it as. <clears throat> what we can say about NIC, so NIC also having a some standards, okay, NIC also having a some standards, uh, here you can go through, oh shit, yeah, from morning onwards it is like that only. So you can open from Amazon or India Mart or yeah, Amazon is okay. So open from Amazon. Okay. So this is the adapter. You can see that lights also. Okay. So it is showing I triple E. I triple E eight not two dot three. What is eight not two? It's a standardization of networking. Dot three means LAN card. Part 3 means a LAN card, a LAN card, okay, that's it. Next, 
every energy has every energy has a MAC address. What is a MAC? Media access control. Media access control. It is actually 48 bit. It is a 48 bit in decimal. Sorry, in binary. Or 12 exa decimal. Okay, so it is look like this one. So it is look like uh, uh, like this. So like 45 uh, colon any, any anything you can 3f 2b uh, so 12 hexa means 12 numbers should be there. So already I completed six. So I am giving like one one. 2c uh, 3 okay so just for an example i've written okay just for an example you can take in any example okay how to check the how to check mac address this is your pc is mac address there is a command so there so one is get mac is get my second one is ip config slash all in windows okay so we'll see go to the cmd type get my okay get my like this no spaces okay this is our mac addresses media disconnected media disconnected mostly you know, I have a two NACs, right? One is a Wi-Fi. Uh, I think it is belongs to Wi-Fi, and this is belongs to my LAN connection, my LAN card RJ45 connection. So this is the MAC address. Get MAC. Another one is IP config. Fashion. You have to scroll up. So this is my LAN card. So wireless LAN card. This is wireless LAN. So you can search. There is a MAC address. Here it is MAC address. This is a MAC address. Okay. This is how to check the MAC address. So go to command prompt and type CMD. Another one is IP config space slash r. This is another one. In GI mode also uh, we know it. So like this, I'm going to run NCPA dot cpl okay run so type nc pa dot cpl i have a uh, my wi-fi so i open and go to details this is my mac address this is my MAC address. Okay. So what I done? So ncpa.cpl open the my control panel network connection relationship, which is my adapter. So open it. Click on details. You can find the MAC address. So this is how to find it. So double click. on your adapter adapter means what are this icon it is showing adapter and details so then you'll find your mac address so this is a gui mode that is a command mode here okay, you have to go to the command prompt then only you can able to do it in line x if config command is config hmm. a lot of commands are there so don't worry so remember this get mac 
ipconfig slash all. So this is how we can able to check the MAC address. Next. Here it is. Other names of MAC address is also there. Okay. Other names of MAC address is MAC address is also called as physical address. Okay. And it is assigned by manufacturer. Manufacturer of NIC. Manufacturer of NIC. Example Realtek, Qualcomm. These are manufacturer of NICs. They assign MAC address. MAC address assigned by manufacturer of NIC. Okay, MAC address also called as physical address. A unique address. A lot of people will confuse between unique address means IP address or a MAC address. Unique address means MAC address only. In the world, only one MAC address is there. It means like your thumb impression. So, like that, no similar thumb impressions, same, no similar MAC addresses in the world. So, you remember that one. So, this is about your NIC. Next, we'll go to the cables. Uh, actually, I thought uh, I will go cables later, but I will put a cables now. Okay. Coaxial cables. Earlier days, people are using uh, this coaxial cables. So, if you see, the cables are like this. So, there is a shield. So, we can go directly here. These are the coaxial cables. If you see, outer there is insulation inside a copper mesh, and there is insulation and the copper wire. So the the middle copper wire, the actually the center conductor it is showing us. So the middle copper wire is main conductor. It means it transmit the actual data to the destination. The outer copper shield, the outer the copper shield is there now. So that is to prevent uh, any electromagnetic interference crosstalk on the copper. So remaining are for a protection purpose only. Okay. Coaxial for hey, okay, I think correct on this. Coaxial cables. Okay. So coaxial cables nowadays we are not using for a regular internet connections, but still earlier there are using it. So main copper cable for communication purpose okay shield for protection so what from what electromagnetic interference electromagnetic interference cross stack if electromagnetic interference happen cross stack will happen from EMI electromagnetic interference kind of stuff. Okay. Next type of cable is UTP or STP cable. Exactly say it is TP cable. TP means twisted pair cable. Okay. Twisted pair cable. U means Unshielded. Unshielded or shielded twisted pair cables. Okay. So it contains eight wires, or we can say. Four pair cable. In generally, it is eight wires. 
four pair cable okay it has a colors also each wire is uh, having uh, some color it's like a uh, orange green blue brown these are the main colors of a thing and remaining are combination colors like a white orange so my fingers are not listening to me white combinations white green white blue white brown okay. these are the eight colors it means eight wires you can see eight wires with the different colors okay there are a lot of uh, studies also there so we use a plug okay. the plug type is again rj 45 plug okay the twisted pair cable so generally all LAN communications you know all in generally in LAN networks we use UTP or STP so what is the difference between UTP and STP by itself like UTP and uh, STP so you can see uh, there is a shielding on a UTP STP cables so unshielded or a shielded see there is shielding is there I can certainly say um, this is the unshielded twisted pair cable cable are twist each other but there is no shielding but if you see here it is there is a shielding on these cables okay this is a shielding is there so what is the advantage of having a shield so the shield protects from electromagnetic interference and strength the cable also next type is fiber channel or optical fiber cables optical fiber cables it is high speed data transmission long distance communication distance long distance communication thus utp stp has a one problem what is that it ranges 80 meters to maximum 100 meters range only not more than that one this will slow depends upon the categories of course there is a categories are there so cat 5 cat 6 kind of, uh, kind of stuff so like uh, cat 6 1 g sorry, 1 g b b s Cat 4 and MBBS, I think. Cat 5 100 MBBS. Cat 5E. So it is 500 to 600 MBBS. Okay. And CAT 6E is also there. CAT 6E, CAT 7 is also there. But it is not uh, properly given uh, how much at speed. So lesser the CATs also there. Le lesser category. Like a category 1, category 2, category 3 uh, type of uh, categories also there. Okay. So 1 MBBS. Category 1 is uh, speed is not in proper that is like maybe a 56 kbps 
cat one is uh, one mbps cat two is four mbps cat three is around uh, uh, six k mbps like that okay so most categories we use it is cat 5e or a cat 6 like you want to buy a cable either this or this that's it not more than not less than this okay not less than cat 5e even cat 5 also based in a land communication okay very high speed data transmission long distance continent to continent communication for internet hmm. used for internet access so for used for internet guys lot of people think um, optical Optical fibers are look like this core clad kind of stuff. You can see so main the thing is light waves. We can send it inside is a core and outside is a clad and there is a plastic shield in it. Okay, so our internet we are getting internet through through fiber optical cables only. Not your home internet. The original continent to continent communication we are doing with the fiber optical cables only so main internet okay type in a google global fiber optical cables global fiber optical cables are a optical fiber cables globe global global or globe you can you will get a how the each country is uh, connected okay so global internet through the optical fiber cables only okay so what is the another part it is cost is different so dependent cost is uh, compared to this one but it is very high speed long distance communications used for a, a global internet communications okay at a server uh, uh, server storage okay uh, places we use this kind of stuff okay okay when we need a high, high speed data transmission side we use a optical fiber cables okay so i'm not going much details this is this is about your cables and i see cables are completed next networking devices so we'll go to the networking devices also we'll see will be finished in one second okay. so what is our networking devices hubs switches routers like that so hub switch router modem okay like these are uh, uh, main devices in a uh, in a networking here it is hub it is a layer one device so in OS, as for the OS layer, it is a layer one device. Okay, uh, means layer one device. It is like a physical layer device. Physical layer device. It is a layer one device. First of all, next, um, it's a physical layer device. Next. Um, it means as for OS layer, it's a layer one device. Non-intelligent okay, non-intelligent device. It means simply add uh, okay. Uh, it is also a repeater. And works in a of duplex mode.
no security at all. Okay. So this is a hub. Sub for a hub sortable for very small. land very small lands like uh, maybe three to four this is not more than that one so better not to go with more than three to four if you are doing a uh, full uh, data transmission kind of stuff hubs are look like a, a small uh, a box only so you can see hub okay it is it's look like a small box you can see hub to hub, you will connect a devices. Hub, you can use a hub, you can connect a devices like this. But if you see, there is a eight port, four ports, eight ports, one uplink. Yeah, so that's the wrong. Okay, so eight port for like that only, not uh, like this. This is the switch, very big one. Okay, that is a switch. Okay. So for um, my exam ports, next ports are a four or a eight port. Ups are there. Ports are okay. Number of ports are a four or eight. It means you can decide how many devices you can able to connect. It. Next one is switch. Switch is a layer two device. So that is called a um, physical layer data link layer device. Data link layer device. Okay. Um, next one is uh, intellectual. Okay. Intelligent. Do Mac learning. Okay. So it learn the Mac addresses. Um, it learns the MAC addresses from PC and it maps it, it maps MAC addresses of device device means PC or laptop Systems to port number of switch. So that is called a MAC address table In bracket MAT MAT. Okay, so what it will do, it will learn the MAC address from the uh, system. Okay, it maps the MAC, uh, learn the MAC addresses and uh, it maps the MAC addresses to the port number of switch and landing. Okay, so it will take a lot of time. <laughs> okay. okay, to switch, it operates it. Yeah, what happened to me? It's at full duplex. Okay, I'll operate set a full duplex sensor. So, maximum number of ports. Suitable. Uh, it's a for a be used for used for land communication. Okay. Land communication purpose. Used for land communication. I'm, I'm telling small or big. So small to big. Any land communication we can do. So each switch has number of ports 24 ports which is there 48 port is there 72 port is also there so 
So it depends upon the switch also. Okay. So mainly for land communication, internal communication only. Next one is router. What is a router? It is a lay three device. Hmm. Network layer. Network layer device. It is also intelligent. Understand IP addresses and um, and the destination. Addresses. Understand IP addresses, destination IP addresses like full communication. So it will do best path selection. To reach destination. Okay, best path selections. Okay, uh, open shortest path for uh, short paths. It will select. Um, Use protocols. Use routing protocols. Like RIP, PIG, RP, OS, PF. Okay. Like this. There is a lot of protocols are there. So I have written only three. Use routing protocols. <laughs> oh, I type two times. Huh? Mind of not at all working. Use routing protocols. Best of all selections. Um, packet switching. Okay. Packet forwarding. Packet switching, packet forwarding, best path selections. These are the main purpose of a router. Guys, we are here. You see, look at this one. Oh, um, I'm in my home. Okay. I want to reach google.com. So, first of all, I'm pinging www.google. It is somewhere, right? It is not in my room. It is it's there in a different location. I'm trying to reach it. So am I reaching? Yes. But when I do it, I'm getting first a IP address and I'm communicating with the IP address. If you see reply from IP address only coming, it is not showing google.com. It is not showing here. Google.com, google.com not showing. It is showing only IP address only. So why it is? So when I'm trying to ping to google.com, the DNS server, the DNS server gave me a, an IP address of google.com. So then I'm communicating google.com with the IP address. Okay. This is how you ping. Ping your destination machine name or a IP address. Name or a IP address. Next. Trace RP. So www.google.com. What is the use of trace RT and ping? Ping will verify whether you can able to reach the destination or not okay ping will tell you whether you are reaching to the destination or not will be told by ping what is the use of trace rt trace rt will tell how you reach the destination the path will tell by trace trace of you are reaching the destination so it will show you path so trace rt Okay, now you can see google.com and we got an IP address and it is tracing. So this is my router. The first one is my router. Second one is my internet service provider IP address. And so third one is also my internet service provider IP address. 
like that it will tracing you know from me me to my router my router to my internet service provider my internet service provider to some other router other router to other router other router to other router finally it reached the destination okay so you want to go to one place to another place i want to go to uh, pune so first i have to go to my next place and then next and next so i have a lot of stations so a lot of jumps to then only finally i will reach my destination okay? i cannot uh, reach my destination in a single shot right <laughs> like a, as you people say like a satellite so go to satellite and reach the destination it won't happen so globally we are all connected each other through one network to another network so like this so first of all my laptop to my router my router to my service provider routers their routers their router finally their router only now it is out of my router then it is finally reach the destination this is the destination address so by nine steps i reached it by nine steps nine jumps i reached it usually you have to reach the destination by 30 hops but i reached the destination by nine hops only this is a trace rt this is trace rt okay so trace rt will tell you how you reach the destination but what is those ip addresses showing that is the routers ip addresses so that is the best path selection router will show you the best path to read how do you reach the de destination so try these commands also if you have a computer if you have an internet center also anything no problem so trace rt i put a e or no e yeah e is there <laughs> typing is easy confirmation of type is very difficult you can use anything google.com facebook.com yahoo.com like that you can use it okay so what is a trace rt it will show you the path what is ping the put a command like a what is ping ping will tell you how you can you reach the destination or not so how do you know reply from destination address so then you understand you reach the destination so can you reach the destination or not or a communication between source and destination is clear or we can say clear okay. so clear path is there this is will tell you how do you reach destination address rt what is another one how do you reach the destination the path those paths okay so this is okay guys these are i uh, just i told only two commands okay try this too um now one more device uh, one more i will tell modem because this is also people are asking questions modem means modulator and demodulator modulator and demodulator so use it for connecting internet purpose only okay in generally uh, connecting your LAN network and network 2 okay ESP via telephone cables 
or anything to wire cables simply like it converts digital signal to analog signal okay so and vice versa okay so reverse also so you have when you are sending digital signal in the lan and la signal outside so that is a modem okay so modems are to connect internet so we are using a modems for a connecting internet from there to here yeah now people are five members in my go to meeting in here i don't know whether people are there are completely dropped unnecessary my bandwidth is very high totally 10 members hmm Yeah, bridge and router, everything. Yeah, here it is also there. You can just read it from here. Yes, tomorrow we'll see the uh, topologies uh, and OSA layers. Topologies and OSA layers also we'll see. Topologies is a five minutes class only. OSA layers also there. Guys, already I shared the PPT. So tell all others to read the PPT. Thank you. So at least you will get some info. OS layers and we will see the IP address. That's it. Okay. IP address and subnet mask ranges. We'll see tomorrow. Okay. If you don't say, I will continue. Can I continue?